let's talk about sets. Definition. Of a set. So how do we define a set? When we are talking about a set, we're talking about a collection of objects. A set is a collection of objects. Well, when we're talking about objects, what objects we're talking about? Basically, you can talk about any set of objects. It can be a set of numbers. It can be a set of functions. It can be a set of anything that you like. So as long as you have a collection of objects, you are forming a set. But you need to describe a set using proper symbols. A set is denoted by curly brackets. It's a common mistake for students to use parentheses. Guys, note that set of parentheses or just parentheses is not representing a set. To represent a set, you need to use proper symbols, curly brackets. For example, The very first set that I'm going to introduce here is S equals to set of A comma B comma C. Very well. The set of S includes three elements. S as a set includes three elements, or it includes three members. These guys are the members of the set elements or members. So this set has three elements, three members. You say that, hey, the cardinality, the size of this set is three. You say that? The cardinality or the size of set. S is three. So how do we show that? Say that, hey, N of S, or some books use two vertical lines to represent the cardinality of set S. The size of set S or the cardinality of set S is Three. Okay, very good. So it says that, hey, how many members are in this set? Okay, very good. Now that we know we have three members in this set, we're going to use the symbol belongs to, to say that, hey, mathematically, these are members 
of this set. So I did this way to show that. Some elements are or are not. So are, are not. In S, we follow the following representation. Okay. The very first number is A. So you write it this way. You say that, hey, A belongs to this symbol, meaning that A belongs to set S. So you're going to read it as A belongs to set S. What other members are here? B is also a member. So you're going to write B belongs to is a member of set S. So again, it's important to read this properly. B belongs to set S. Okay, now take a look at this guy here. I'm going to write D belongs to S. Is it true? Do we have a member like D in this set? Of course not. D is not a member. So what are you going to do? You're going to cross this belongs to. You're going to say that, hey, D is not a member of S. D is not a member of set S. Being a member, not being a member. 